Possibly we have. Whoa. I've been fishing. You've been I? fishing? I've been you, fishing. You happen to link. There's a link, There's a link what, to that. And so what did I catch? Oh, did you catch some snapper? I think I caught some did snapper. You? Or some snappers. I'm going to serve it in up this, the tea. In this case, we caught ourselves four snappers. Wow. That was on a great deal. So, <laughs> ESP. ESP. Um, brilliant guitar company. Uh, make lots of uh, posh guitars. Um, posh. And they have a subsidiary. Thing subsidiary do yes is that subsidiary do subsidiary do subsidiary is that, is that oh they played <laughs> yeah absolutely around <laughs> oh, subsidiary do subsidiary do uh, called LTD uh, who make kind of affordable or more affordable sort of licensed versions of those so the snapper which is a sort of custom shop super expensive uh, what would you how would what genre are these guitars they're like they're like sort of super strat I'll say super strat 
I looked at them and it looks sort of yeah you got yeah. you know you got a deeper cut away here and you got some sharp edges and you know it's not rounded so it gives yeah. it a bit more streamlined look yeah. you know you get a little thing there I'd say I'd say super strat yeah kind there's of always thing. gonna be there's the guy who's like I just want a Fender and I want, and, and yeah. I, and I, and I want it, it with all the vintage kind of spec stuff and that's what I like I want, I want the noisy pickups and I want the old fashioned tremolo system and I want all yeah. that stuff yeah. and then there's the guy that's gone well I kind of like the vibe of the three single coil or the, the double cut but I want it more modern yeah. and that's where I guess the snapper fits in and brands like Sur and um, and well, Anderson Anderson even brands like Ibanez and Schecter, Schecter sort of, sort of an extent they, they sort of, of they, they do that Thang. thang. So that's where the snapper is. It's kind of, it's nothing like as contemporary looking as some of the other ESP and LTD models. It's not really a guitar you'd associate with metal. No, uh, although no. You, you could do a bit if you wanted. But it's equally not as traditional as a, as a Fender Strat either. It's sort of in between. What's the Andy Timmons Ibanez? This is, reminds me a little bit of this. That, yeah. That sort of, yeah. That sort of shape. That's Maybe very even a bit more like this. This has got a deeper cut here because it's, anyway. What does LTD stand for? Because I've always wondered, is it limited uh, something? I, or I is don't know. It, Do you know what? I would it, guess uh, it's limited. Long turtle dove? Dove? I don't know. Who knows? Maybe yeah, somebody um, well, knows. Look, so the SN200 is the most affordable uh, variant of the snapper. Uh, and in 2017, we've got some end of line models. Not actually entirely sure what's happening to the snapper range in 2018. Maybe there's some new colors coming. Maybe there are some revisions. We don't know. All we know is that the existing 200 series is gone. Hey. Ain't no more. Hey. Gone. Hey. 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 Hey, Johnny. Baba bing. <laughs> Out you go. Baba bing. <laughs> um, so uh, whatever was left with the UK distributor got offered out on a deal um, and I bought them all because I like them. <laughs> I, think it, I think it was good value. So there are uh, a few, we haven't got every single color and every single model here. We've just got some representative things. But Pete is holding, I guess, the most stratty snapper version of the snapper. <laughs> um, yes. Tell us, I, so, tell us about those, so please, are, Mr. These Pete. These are basswood bodies. Yep. Um, and on my right here, you've got the, the Rosewood fingerboard. You've got the maple neck. That's your left. Sorry, it's my there, left, yeah. It's there, there right. You're but, right. But, so yeah. on my left, <laughs> on my right, did the thing, oh my night. What was that? The finger so, the let me go. Because it bit my finger so. That could be the snapper that bit my finger. could be. Charlie bit my finger. Oh yes, that's it. So we got rosewood, we got a maple neck, you got a basswood body or basswood body. Sort of like pretty little veneer. Yes. What is that, like a bird's eye maple kind of veneer? Yeah, it's like a flame maple kind of top on there. Oh, they're okay on the light side, they're not heavy. Um, this one has got the maple neck, so I think the spec on these are the same. It's got the uh, Wilkinson Trem system on it. It's got the ESP designed uh, single coil pickups. It has also got um, a little cutaway in the back there. Yeah, like or a more you contemporary the, kind yeah, of neck got, join, isn't it? All of these little contemporary things. So like... Um, Strung through body? Yeah, you know, mine has got these... Oh no, the sorry, you're right, you've got trim. Yeah, you've got the hard tail. Mm. So it's got a five-way switch. Three pickups. It's got the tone and the volume. That's it. So they're sort of, they're yeah. sort of taking the option away of, of twenty-five you know. and a half inch scale lengths of Strat, twenty-two Strat. frets. Twenty-two it's frets. Basically, it's you know, it's a it's a modern twist on a Fender Strat. Absolutely. Yeah. And um, uh, it sounds like this. I'm going into the into the Morgan PR12 head victory cab, and this is the clean tone. <laughs> A little you can't tell you can't that we've tell. just written a song, can you, uh, we're using those three chords yeah. that uh, it's called Donald. can't be broadcast. Yeah, it's called Donald. For... So anyway, here's the uh, the two pickups together. So there you get the little, you get your strat tone. The soon to be extinct Rosewood fretboards. Yes, exactly. Yeah, that's... Uh... Yeah, it's a little feature. Maybe you like feature, it, maybe yeah. you don't. I don't it's know. It's cheap. If you, you know, um, maybe if you've got a strat with, and you don't like Parfero, and now you get a Parfero strat, then you just take this bit off here, buy one of these, take that <laughs> Probably off, not that easy to do, but you never your, know. You know. Anyway, or, or just tell yourself that Parfero is rosewood and just accept that no one can really tell the difference. Exactly. And, um, and then everyone's cool. Excellent. Anyway. Anyway, so here's a, here's a C chord with a middle pick on. Mm. 
first couple of chords I mean, there, it's instant white snake. That was. Is it? It's something different. That's David Coverdale walking fan, all the hair going down, a bit of smoke, <laughs> sexy lady. And this is uh, clean, so the Morgan PR12 is only 12 watts, so it does. Little. It is, it does. <laughs> let's go. Uh, these two pickups. Good. I mean, it's just a nice, it's just rap tone. Yeah. It is, it Bye. is. Uh, normals, ODR 12, everything on, uh, ODR 1, everything on 12. Hey, Dono! I mean, that's great. It is. That's a great tune. Like it's nice a great. I, I like the trem system. The the sort of the I think two, you could two pointer. fairly reasonably expect to see this trem system on a, on a more expensive guitar. Yeah, but I know the Wilkinson stuff is is pretty good. Is there a company that we sort of know that has got it's the, Trev, these? Uh... Trev Wilkinson. Oh, oh yeah, is and it? they and you sometimes get Wilkinson stuff on Chapman guitars mm -hmm. and Fret King guitars mm -hmm. and uh, yeah, well they do some good yeah. stuff, don't they? They do. Yeah, it looks nice. Um, it's I like the the, the round. Edges so look. Here. <laughs> if you're a single coil fan and you know a more of a traditionalist then you might want to look at an sn200 this one yeah uh maple fretboard versus um rosewood fretboard uh some might say there's a small tonal difference between the two others will just say it's a feel thing and others will just say it's a cosmetic thing this you, looks cool if, doesn't it? if you can hear it and see it and believe it then i like that you've got uh the sort of the gloss lacquered headstock but the, the satin finished neck on there i like it yes it's really cool you could yeah satin i like finished. it it's got like a nice look to the headstock but like a satin finish to the neck yeah well i think this will wear out because it's a very thin uh layer of like feels like very thin mm. like satin thing and you know what's the neck this really it's quite slim so it's not like a c shape on a, on a normal modern side. c it's, isn't it's it a like modern, a modern it's, c it's almost feels almost a little bit flat yeah. to the to the touch. Anyway, let's why don't we hear yours then? Extra jumbo frets. Well, yeah. I've basically yeah, got absolutely. the same guitar, but with a hard tail, so, so you'll notice again. 299 as well, right? These are all 300 pounds, basically. That a smidgen more if you want the Floyd on it, but they're all that. And they were all four, 450, that kind of dough. So that's the epic deal part of it. Yeah. Um, yeah, I've basically got exactly the same bodywood, exactly the same neck. Uh, Slightly different pickups in that I've got the humbucker at the bridge, the hard tail, which, you know, if you're not a big floating trem kind of fan, uh, you want to do drop tuning, all that kind of stuff, hard tail might be a good option for you. Rosewood board. Um, you know who's got a string through body? And it's 59. Who? Uh, Nile Rogers. Has he really? His, his, uh, what, his a hard tail trem yeah. string through body? There was like a special, there was like a period Ooh. in 59 where Fender did string uh, hard tail. And that's. In 59? I thought the hardtail straps came later, but you might be right. I think that's when his is from. Well, there we go. Chic La Freak. Well, see, so, um, you know, you get some, some more snap in your snapper. So all my sounds are basically going to be much the same as Pete's. Again, you might find it's a slightly different kind of tone because of the, the hardtail. We're using different amps. That's the main reason it's going to sound different. But... Good sound. Yeah, the, absolutely. Then, of no, course, the, the, the bridge humbucker is way more pokey. That's where you want your distortion pedal. I'm using a full tone plim sole. Don't really do that kind of guitar style much myself, but you get the idea. Yeah, you can do that. Absolutely. So that's. Uh, I. Do you know what? I don't even know what colours we've got these in. I know we've got them in a variety of colours. So at the end of this video, there'll be a link to where you can find out more about them. Or if you can't wait for that, just, just go straight to the description below and we'll put a link in there. Um, should we change guitars? Nice. Oh, yeah, you have changed, changed guitars. guitars. Here's a tone control, by the way, so... Now, 
if um, whammy woo was are your thing, uh, you'll probably <laughs> want one of the snappers with the, the LTD Floyd Rose on it. It's, it's not the only difference in the guitar. Um, you may notice also we have inherited two extra frets, so we can now go up to the double octave, the 24th fret. And to help me get there, it has a slightly deeper cutaway, I think. Although I'd say that. Let's just have a quick look. Yeah. It, uh, no, I don't think it's a it's just along cutaway, the neck, is it? I think it's just along the neck. Oh, right. Um, well, I was wrong then. So I think it's the same body, just the... the but anyway, anywho... Um, Excuse me. HSS configuration here, so the same pickup set that's on the hardtail one, but with the Floyd. Uh, are they and... closer together? Sorry, man, to interrupt. Are they closer together, the two pickups, than the on that one? They are. That's what it is that makes they it... They are. Look... You see, look, it's an optical illusion. It's illusion. It's like David Copperfield. Yeah, see, the, uh, the pickups looks like they're slightly closer together, so... Yeah. They're the same on the back. You've got the belly cut and the and the, the sort of the slightly... We definitely need, though, that... ...chamfered edge on the heel joint. Yeah. Um, nice. Anywho... Anywho. Uh, this is going to sound the same. Well, no, do you know what? Changing the trem system changes the sound. Sometimes you find the hard tail will probably have a little bit more sustain there, the, the, the Floyd a little less so. <laughs> Still in tune, I think. Let's have a look. Well, they are straight out of the box, these, so you know what I mean. So that they, they, you know, they need to be stretched and snapped a bit before. Um, but I mean, three hundred and nineteen pounds. If you're looking for like a like a super strap where you can do some shredding on, and it's it's that. There's, there definitely is. There's there's the guy that wants to play like death metal -y kind of like and in which case that the, these would be visually inappropriate for yeah that this, sort of this, thing. these these won't fit like that you know but there is the guy that just wants something that's got a little bit more performance to it than a regular strat yeah. scott but still wants it to retain that kind of traditional look and that's kind of what these that's what yeah. this is uh, this is aimed at um so anyway they're the guitars there's about 25 of these to sell, something like that. So not loads. Uh, we are going to jam out now with Mr. Honore um, on the SM200. Oh, yeah. I'll with go the trim. with this one. Uh, I'm going to get to my friend Jossin to noodle on the Floyd because he is a little bit more sort of Floyd versed than I am. I hope you enjoyed the video. I'm the captain. I'm Pete. And we shall see you next time. Oosh. <laughs> <laughs>
Hey everybody, thanks for watching the Anderton's Guitar YouTube channel. If you're a drummer or a keyboard player or interested in music technology, you might find one of our other channels interesting, and I'll put details of those in the description below. If you want to find out more about the products we've just featured, please click here. If you'd like to buy a t-shirt like this, please click here. If you want to watch another video on our guitar channel, click down here. And to subscribe to our guitar channel, click here. Thanks again for watching, and we'll see you next time.